Let's get you updated on our Ag Commodity Trade. I'm Marlon Bowling with you. And, of course, keep in mind, we do get our USDA supply and demand report a little later on this morning. It'll come out in about an hour and 44 minutes or so from right now. So stay tuned for that. Uh, in the meantime, let's get you caught up on our current prices with our quotes provided by Bar Chart. Let's go to the big board and take a look at our corn. And right now on the May corn, we are a penny higher on the May. And that's it. <laughs> Everything else is, is lower. We have July down a penny. You have December corn down two and a half at 560 and a quarter, almost on the low of the day, I might add. Just one tick from it. Now on soybeans, they went rocketing higher this morning out of the gate, and now you have May soybeans still up by 16 and a half cents. We're at 15.03 and three quarters, but it has backed off about four cents from last time we checked. Now we have July soybeans 15 and a quarter higher, and November up a dime at 13. Now uh, 13 and 20 cents. So let's go with 13.20 even. That would be 10 and a quarter cents higher. So that spread between the May and the November is widening out by about seven cents here so far today. Now, as we move on to wheat in Chicago first, we have May now two and a half lower at 676. That's about two cents from our low of the day. And you have that July uh, new crop contract now three and a quarter cents lower this morning. In Kansas City, you have the May down a penny at 875. July is currently down two and a half cents. Minneapolis spring wheat. We have the May four and a half higher at 879 and a half and July four and a quarter higher at 879. So that has made an abrupt turnaround and now we're a dime off of our earlier low. So the spring wheat all of a sudden found some traction. Now let's look at cotton and on the cotton market, we'll go with July. That is 30 points higher right now at 83.03 and December new crop is now 34 points higher. We're at 82.97 per pound, got as high as 83.08. Uh, couldn't quite hang on to that 83 cent mark. Well, let's go to the phone and welcome Mr. Ben Hushen of the mill in Whitehall, Maryland. He joins us right now for an update on uh, conditions in that part of the country there. All right, Ben, what's going on? It's planting season. Are they able to get anything done or not around there? Good morning, Marlon. It, uh, they sure are. Uh, since we talked last week, we continue to be in this stretch of dry weather. Uh, showers uh, called for that we missed, uh, warm temperatures. We had frost two mornings in a row, but uh, temperature just continues to climb. Soil temperature clearly in the low to maybe even mid-50s, depending on uh, um, what time of day you're taking it and whether it's worked ground, cover crop, and all that. So soybean planters started to roll a little bit last week. A whole lot more this week, and uh, some corn starting to go in the ground. So it's it's really been something because we've pretty much gone three weeks uh, without rain in this geography. And logistically, I've always said if we don't get rain once a week, fertilizer suppliers can't keep up. A lot of product coming out of Carolinas and Virginia, and of course big trucks or hauling it out and not just a little bit bigger hauling it in. So it's um, been pretty uh, stressful. I would don't use that word very often, but it's been, been a challenge, and farmers are starting to plant, quite frankly, a week, in many cases, two weeks earlier than they typically have at their own farm with just how warm and ahead of schedule this season has been so far. The good point of that conversation is that they have the fertilizer to put on this year, and it looks like availability is uh, probably not going to be an issue. Ben, thanks for the update. Interesting to hear that they're planting soybeans first this year in that area. Seems to be a growing trend. Uh, thanks for the update. I'll check in again next week, too. Ben Hushen of the Mill in Whitehall, Maryland with us. Welcome back in a moment. We'll get you updated on the latest in our livestock trade after this.